Come on y'all, uh, let's see all of the things that I have for you for the March Drop Hop Sale. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Beth and today I am hosting a March drop sale hop. So at five o'clock, Halen Vintage kicked off the sale. Then it went to 5.30 with Mimi's Treasure Cottage and now you're here on my channel. The way that a drop sale works, if you're not familiar, is all of the sales are pre-recorded. And if you would like to claim an item, you would put the items number in the comments below. I will be sorting by first to claim by the timestamp in the comments below, and I will be responding to you as to if the item is yours or if the item has already been claimed. Do not hesitate to put your number in, even if the pinned comment says that the item has already been claimed because sometimes items are not able to um, be mailed out and they become available again and you would be second in line. So this is just like a live sale, except it's not live, it's pre-recorded. I'll need the same information that all of the sellers will need. We'll need your first and last name, your YouTube name if it is different, a complete mailing address with the state and zip code, please. And don't forget those apartment and condo building numbers. And I'll also need your PayPal email address. You will send that here to scprincess1 at comcast.net. And at the end of the sale, I will be uh, sending you a PayPal invoice. So please make sure that your PayPal notifications are on. You will have an invoice with all of your items listed and their price, including a shipping price. All items here that have a price are not including the shipping. So it you will be paying the shipping in addition to all of the items. Now, if you buy more than one item from me, I will be combining that into one box as much as possible and get that sent out to you for one shipping rate. I do use Pirate Ship and I try to use the most economical with like insurance and all of that attached um, to send it to you. I am shipping from right outside of Houston, Texas. That is my hub. And so please keep that in mind when you are considering uh, the shipping that will be added to you. So I think I got it all. And at the end of this sale, after I show you, I'm going to try to squeeze in 15 items. We only have 30 minutes. And at the end of my sale, I'm going to tell you who to hop on over and visit next on their YouTube channel for their sale. So come on, y'all. Uh, let's see all of the things that I have for you for the March drop sale hop. My first item is a cute little bowl and saucer set. So I want to show you the saucer first. I love these pastel colors. It is very reminiscent of Easter. It does say lands downing or lands down um, in USA. So I'll show you the marking there. This is a six and a half inch saucer with some beautiful pastel florals in there. And I also have the matching little, I think you call this a berry bowl. I'm not sure. It is five and a quarter inches in diameter. And you can see the depth of the little bowl. It is a matching piece. There is a little bit of crazing, as you can see on the back, but you're going to get both the saucer and the bowl that go together. You're going to get both pieces for just six dollars number 40. So again, if this is your first time, you would put number 40 in the comments if you would like to purchase this set for six dollars. Super cute, y'all. I used this in my Easter display for a couple of years, and now I am sharing it with you. And getting ready for Easter, I wanted to bring a few things that might be great for Easter baskets to fill those. And one of those is this beautiful little princess doll. Now, this doll is a rust doll from Cuddle and Company. Um, it is in wonderful shape. She is called a Princess Penelope Little Lovey is what it's called. She has her little crown right here. She's in wonderful shape. No 
um, rips, tears, stains, or anything like that. No marks on her whatsoever. This doll is 19 inches. So she is 19 inches tall there. Um, and she is so, so cute. I did just pick her up because I was thinking this would be a super cute addition to an Easter basket. This little Russ Cuddle and Company doll is going to be $15, number 44. My next piece is a piece of sheet music from 1950. It is Peter Cottontail, and I absolutely love the graphics. Now, it has come apart, so I am reflecting that in the price, but it is music as well as words for this. Uh, Frosty the Snowman is on the inside of the front cover, um, but it has multiple pages, as you can see but it is come apart. So I did want you to be aware of that. And then there are a few graphics on the back, but I know that some people use sheet music for um, ephemera projects, uh, scrapbooking and all those other things. And also they put them in frames for the graphic uh, during the holiday. So this is a brown and white Peter Cottontail and it is again from 1950, and it is going to be just $5, number 31. So if you're interested in the sheet music, it is gonna be $5. You put number 31 in the comments below. My next item is also Easter related, and I just picked this up as well. Found some great Easter things. This is an April 1960 a Jack and Jill little Easter book. Um, it comes from the Houston Public Library at the Heights branch, but look at this beautiful graphic. Now, this magazine is intact. It does not have any marks, tears, or is missing any of its pages. Also featured in this book, I love this part, let's draw a duck, but it has some plays, some stories. Um, it is all about April. Here's a little play. I just loved these. Um, now I had a version of these when I was smaller, kind of like highlights was what it reminds me of, but there is a game in the center for Easter. And it also highlights, if I can find it, it is, Easter with Captain Kangaroo, and I thought this was super cute. Now, this is a totally intact magazine, again, from April of 1960. The Jack and Jill Easter magazine is going to be $10, number 50. $10, number 50 for the Jack and Jill April 1960 magazine. My next item is super cute, y'all. And again, it is more spring and Easter related. It is a little tiny uh, figurine. It is a girl with a goose right here. Now there is no make, marker, or design, no kind of information on this. It is free of any chips or cracks. And this little girl is three and a quarter inches tall by two inches wide. But her little face is absolutely darling. I mean, I guess you could tie a little blue bow on that goose just for some nostalgia. But I thought this would be great for a spring display. She's in perfect condition. And she is going to be just $5, $5 number 33. I am going a little fast, y'all, because I wanted to get through 15 items in my 30 minutes uh, because I have a lot of good things to show you. My next item, again, is super cute and Easter and spring related. It is an Anna Lee. Y'all, look at her little face to start with, with her spring Easter bonnet on. I love that. She's got a beautiful little dress on, and she's got an Easter basket with a glitter egg. Y'all, I love her. She is an Anna Lee, and she is a 2008 Anna Lee doll. She is a 7-inch spring Easter mouse doll with the basket and the bonnet and the egg is in the basket there. So she is about seven inches tall and wide she's about four and a half inches. She is absolutely darling.
So I thought that I would bring her because she is going to be perfect for your Easter or your spring display. There is absolutely nothing wrong with her. And you know, with Annalise, they are wire framed. So you can um, move their feet, move their tails, move their hands, all the things to kind of pose them a little bit. This spring Annalise doll is going to be just $15, number 42. For all my people that love ephemera, I have some vintage Easter wrapping paper for you that is new old stock. This is from Hallmark. It is new old stock and contains two of the large sheets that would cover a, a shirt box. But I wanted to show you the graphics, all of the beautiful blue. Look at the bunny in there. There's flowers. This would make a great background for a picture frame or in a junk journal or to wrap a little gift. It is new old stock, so it has not been opened. So there are no tears or anything like that in this. It is absolutely beautiful. And this new old stock wrapping paper is gonna be just $4, number 38. Okay, y'all, my next item is a collectible item and it is a Hummel. So it's a 1979 Hummel plate and this one is an annual plate. I love the little graphic on there with the yellow bird and it is new in box. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to show you. It comes like this and these are the other plates also. A uh, little bit of information there. I just love this. And look at this beautiful plate, free of chips or cracks. He is playing a little flute for the yellow bird. What a beautiful little gobel plate. Now, it is a gobel out of West Germany from 1972. It does have all of the information there on the back. And just to make sure that I tell you, it is seven inches in diameter. But what a beautiful little plate to set out at springtime. So the Hummel collectible plate from 1979 is going to be just $10, number 30. Okay, y'all, my next item is also for Easter, and I could not resist picking this up. It is new with tags, but y'all, look at this bunny. He is so darling. He is a little musical bunny, and he does play Jesus Loves Me. Now, I'm going to try to play it and hope that it stops. I think you press once to play and put once to stop. So I love this. It does play very well. We're going to turn that off. Um, but he has no stains. Super soft, y'all. No rips, no tears, no marks in this. It is like new. And I absolutely love his sweet little face. And it, it does say Jesus loves me on his little pajamas. thought this was too cute, y'all. This musical bunny is going to be just $12, number 46. My next item is also perfect for your spring display. Um, and I have marked this down to $5 because there is a little chip right here in one of the flowers. But this one is a Napco. Now I have sold this dog several times, but she's so stinking cute. I keep picking her up. Look at this little springtime puppy with the flowers. Now the petal that is broken is right here if you can tell i don't even know if you're going to be able to tell but all of her other flowers are intact with her easter bonnet on y'all she is super super cute i just loved this and it does have its little sticker right down here now this pretty little puppy is three and a half inches tall by about one and three quarters inches wide. She would be perfect for a tiered tray in the spring or a little shelf sitter. This is super, super cute. She's darling. I absolutely love her. She's gonna be just $5, number 41. My next item is a little frame made in Taiwan. It's one of the ceramic drop-in frames. Thought this was really pretty with the spring flowers and the heart shape on there. Here's where you would drop your little picture in there. There are no chips or cracks in this beautiful little ceramic frame. Now the frame is 
three inches by four inches. Um, it does have its Made in Taiwan sticker on the inside of there and the gold gilding around the heart. This little cute frame is gonna be just $6, number 34. Okay, y'all, my next item is super fun. And I also just picked this one up as well. And I thought it would be wonderful to fill an Easter basket. It's a Squishmallow, y'all. It's a Squishmallow. This is Dexter the Dragon. Now, I think I called him Daniel the Dinosaur or something. But he is Dexter the Dragon. Y'all, these Squishmallows are so soft. He does have his little horns, his little ears, his little dragon wings. Got some little spikes down here and a little tail. He is a Squishmallow. This is a 10 inch Dexter the Dragon right here. And he's got a wingspan of 12 and a half inches. He is free of rips, tears, or anything like that. Super soft, y'all, oh my gosh. This Dexter the Dragon Squishmallow, he's super soft. Oh my gosh, I just can't get over. I guess that's why they call them Squishmallows. He is gonna be $15, number 43. He would be absolutely perfect to set in an Easter basket. I just think that's cute with all of the eggs around him. That would be so darling. Okay, y'all, I just have three more items. I think I'm doing really good on time. Had to bring a little bit of ephemera, a little bit more Easter ephemera, and you're gonna get all three of these. So this is a lot of three. It is some postcards, and I have one that is unmarked. This one has not been used. Um, and it says, may Easter gladness touch your heart and may the thought of spring add to your blessings as you find new joy in everything. I thought this was absolutely darling to put in a little flower frog um, anywhere near a little uh, plant or just in your centerpiece, but this is super cute. Now this one has not been used at all, but the other two are postmarked. I cannot tell the date on this one, but you know I'm all about the shade that people use to write on these postcards. I love the little front of this. There's nothing written in here, so you could either put a picture or you could write something there for yourself, but the postcard on the back is um, written and it was uh, stamped and mailed, but I just want to read you just a portion. It says, I am sorry your eyes are so bad that you cannot see your country friends when in town. Ha ha. <laughs> I guess this person did not come to visit when they were in town and they're letting them know. Um, so you're also going to get that card. And this postcard has also been stamped. This is 1903 is what it says right here. And this says Peaceful Easter. I love the cross on this one. I thought this one was absolutely beautiful with the little cottage right there. This one was mailed out on April the 8th and I could not tell from where it was mailed. But you're gonna get this postcard, you're gonna get this postcard, and you're gonna get this postcard. All three of these are gonna be one monies, $8, number 32. $8, number 32 for the lot of three Easter postcards. My next item is really, really cool. It is a handmade piece out of Scotland, and it says handmade in Scotland by Border Fine Arts. And it is marked on the back. This one is a Lowell Davis AI sheep figurine called Idle Hours, the black and white version, because apparently they do have an all white version, and it is handmade in Scotland. Now the little sheep measure about two inches tall by three inches wide. Can you imagine making that? All of that fine detail that is in there. But I thought this would make a great little springtime and Easter portion to a display if you are not already a collector of this. And the Lowell Davis Handmade in Scotland sheet figurine is gonna be just $10, number 48. Okay, y'all, my last item is another Easter basket filler, and it is from American Girl Dolls. And I've never seen this before, but this is a 2010 
American Girl doll accessory, and it is the rabbit on a leash, and it is in perfect condition. I have the little dog on a leash. I think it's a poodle, um, but I didn't have the Easter Bunny on a leash, and I thought this was super cute. I believe the name is Lulu. I cannot be certain on that. Um, I can put it right here below to let you know all of the specifics, um, but this is one of the American Girl doll accessories. So I thought this would be a great little Easter basket stuffer as well. And this one is going to be just $12, number 36, for the American Girl doll Easter Bunny on a Leash. Okay, y'all, that is all that I have for you for this drop sale hop. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Again, don't forget to send me your first and last name, your YouTube name if it is different, a complete mailing address, and your PayPal email address to this email right here, scprincess1 at comcast.net. And now that you have shopped my drop sale, I would like for you to hop on over to Miss Martha at Vintage Conversation. She is new to our drop sale hops. So I want you to go over and give her some love. Watch the videos. I'd love for you to watch all of the videos. They started at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and they go all the way till 9 30 tonight y'all and it's ending with Vintage and Vino. So make sure to hop through each one of the videos. Give a thumbs up if you're claiming an item. You'll need to put the letter or the number associated with that item in the comments. And if you're watching the replay, if you're not watching with the hop is happening we welcome you to watch the replay again go ahead and put the items a uh, number or letter that you are interested in in each video's comment and they will get back to you as far as their invoicing again i'm shipping out of houston and all of the items do not include shipping so once i bundle up your packages all pretty for easter then i will send out an invoice to you and get those in the mail all of the sellers are asking that you send your information within 24 hours if we don't already have it and invoices are paid promptly a maximum of 48 hours after the invoice is sent to make sure that you get your items in time and that we can clear this sale so again thanks so much for watching hop on over to miss martha at vintage conversation and until next time y'all stay pretty and be sweet bye bye